almost a year to the day since European citizens voted in the European Parliament, paving the way for Jean-Claude Juncker to become President of the European Commission. But despite signs of a slow recovery, the creation of jobs and growth remains stifled. And that's why Europe's regions and cities are counting on the Juncker Plan and its promises to put investment back on track. Addressing President Juncker at the COR's plenary session on the 4th of June, Michael Schneider will call for a quick adoption of the legislation on the European Fund for Strategic Investment, so that the much-needed finances can reach beneficiaries on the ground. And continuing the theme of economic recovery, Member of the European Parliament, Siegfried Murishan, will share his research on job creation policies. This will be in the meeting of the EPP group, which takes place on the 3rd of June. Mauro Datis will present his opinion on the same topic the following day. He wants better support for local and regional authorities who are often responsible for employment policy. The second EPP-led opinion to be discussed at the June plenary relates to another priority for the Juncker Commission, the EU as a global actor. Hans Janssen's opinion, entitled A Decent Life for All, From Vision to Collective Action, is the formal contribution of the COR to the European Year of Development. MEP Davo Ivo Steer will join the debate. Meeting just six times this year, the Committee of the Regions Plenary Session is an opportunity for the EU's mayors, regional presidents and local councillors to share their views on EU current affairs. And just three weeks ago, the European Commission set out its response to the tragedies in the Mediterranean in the form of an EU plan on migration. The COR will adopt a resolution calling for sustainable migration and more support for local and regional actors ahead of the plan's endorsement at the end of June. Dimitrios Kalagoropoulos will lead the discussions on behalf of the EPP group. And looking to the wider context, recent elections in Europe have reignited calls for EU reform. Given Jean-Claude Juncker's pledge that there will be no treaty change before the end of his mandate in 2019, Jesus Gamayo Alla and Hervig van Staal will propose ways to improve the functioning of the current Lisbon Treaty and call for better territorial monitoring of EU legislation.